Let's look at some of Windows' most useful CMD commands that you should know about to help you achieve more and be able to diagnose issues in your machine. Let's start by launching the command prompt from your desktop. Start by clicking on the Windows search icon, then type CMD or command prompt into the search bar. Next, right click on the command prompt and select run as an administrator. This should gives you all the permissions you need to run various commands on the command prompt. The first command we'll talk about is the ping. It's one of the mostly used commands. Let me show you how to use it in three different ways. The first way, it's really useful for checking how fast servers are and fixing connections problems. For example, you can use ping to find the fastest DNS server for you. This can make your browser connection much faster. Here's how. Let's open Google Chrome browser and let's click on the three dots in the top right corner. Go to settings and once setting is up, let's search for DNS and let's click on the security in the results. Then let's scroll down to find DNS. You'll see a drop down box with all available DNS servers you can choose from. Now, to determine which one of these gives you the fastest connection, let's go back to the command prompt and let's type ping followed by the DNS IP address. For Google's public DNS, it's 8.8.8.8 and hit enter. It'll ping Google's DNS and show you how long it took to go from your PC to the server and back. For example, it only took 34 milliseconds. Now let's do the same for the Cloudflare's DNS and compare the result. Let's type ping followed by a Cloudflare's IP address, which should be 1.1.1.1 and hit enter. Now this time it only took 11 milliseconds for a round trip. It's much faster than Google's DNS. So in this case, it's better off to set your Google's Chrome DNS to Cloudflare to give you a faster connection. The second way to use ping is for troubleshooting Wi-Fi connection issues. Imagine if you are having trouble connecting to your Wi-Fi or your Wi-Fi adapter is missing. Now to figure out if it's a hardware or a software problem, in your command prompt window, let's type ping space followed by your local host IP address, which should be 127.0.0.1 and hit enter. If you get a reply from this IP address, it means there is no problem with your hardware and it's most likely a software issue. But if you don't get a reply, it's a hardware issue and you might need to test your Wi-Fi adapter. A third way to use ping is to check if you can reach a website. Sometimes, even if you are connected to a Wi-Fi, you still can't browse the internet. To find out if your device can connect to the internet, on the command prompt, let's type ping followed by a website's URL. For example, let's ping Google. Type ping space www.google.com and hit enter. If you get a reply from Google, it means you have internet access. And these were just few ways you can use the powerful ping command. Next command is winget. It's a new feature in Windows 10 and higher, which let you manage your applications on Windows. It's really useful for installing and updating applications from a trusted Microsoft repository. For example, if you want to install an antivirus software, but you're not sure where to get it from, on your command prompt window, let's type winget space search, followed by what you're looking for, like antivirus, and hit enter. It'll search Microsoft's repository and give you a list of options to choose from. Now, let's say you want to install this first on the list. Copy its ID number by selecting it and right click or hit the Ctrl C on your keyboard. Then let's type 
winget space install and just paste the ID number. And now hit enter. It should start downloading and installing the software. If you decide to uninstall it later or any other applications on your system, just type winget space remove followed by the ID number of the application you want to remove. The next command is power CFG. Now this command can help you diagnose and fix power related problems specifically useful for laptop users. Here's how to use it. On your command prompt window, first thing we have to do is to point to our C drive. Let's do CD space C drive windows slash system32 and hit enter. Now this should take you to the system32 folder of your windows installation. Now let's type power cfg space slash energy and hit enter. Now this enables tracing for 60 seconds to observe system behavior. It may take a minute or a few seconds to generate the report. So just be patient. Analyzing complete energy efficiency problems were found. It will list errors, warnings, and information about your system's power efficiency. Now to get a more detail, copy the address shown, press Ctrl C to copy it, and open your browser or your file explorer and paste the address in the address bar and hit enter. And here you'll see the power efficiency diagnostic report, including your computer's name, scan time, duration, and BIOS date, versions, and error information. You can use this report to identify and fix various battery and power related issues. The next command is disk part. It's a useful command for managing disks and performing various disk related tasks. Now here's how to use it. On your command prompt, type disk part and hit enter. This should take you to the disk partition where you can run various disk related commands. For example, if you want to see how many disks are connected to your computer, type list space disk and hit enter. It should show a list of all the disks like disk 0, 1, 2, 3 along with their size and free space. If you have a specific issue with a disk, you need to select it first. For example, if you have an issue with disk 3, type select disk 3 and hit enter. Disk 3 should be selected now and you can perform commands like cleaning the drive, formatting it, or assigning a new drive letter. The next command is ipconfig, which is a crucial for network troubleshooting or checking your connection details. On your command prompt, Let's type ipconfig and hit enter. You can see it has displayed information about your network adapters, including your IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. You can also use the slash all to display even more adapter information. The next command is task list and task kill. These work together to manage running programs Task list displays a list of all active processes. You can identify processes by image name or PID. If a program is unresponsive, you can forcefully terminate it. For example, if I want to terminate Notepad, I would need to select the image name, copy it, and type task kill space slash PID space and paste the image name and hit enter. And as you can see, notepad has been terminated. Last but not least is the system info command, which is useful at displaying comprehensive overview of your system, including details like operating system version, Windows key, hardware components, 
such as your memory, CPU, and network information. It's a great starting point for troubleshooting or checking your system specifications. And these are some of the most useful Windows CMD commands. If I have missed any, please let us know in the comments box below. Until I see you again, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Bye for now.